It I mean, it's not uncomfortable. It feels good. It's actually massaging me quite well. Here's some high vibration. Oh! <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Dope or Note, the channel where we wait pro- We wait. We wait products. You we wait, wait products. products. I wait products. Nope. Dope or Note, or- You chew gum while I filming. Expect. That's a party foul. Yeah, that's a party foul. Chewing gum party while filming? Gum. You're gonna trigger literally everyone that's watching. Nope, you've committed. <laughs> Never seen that. Ow! Wait, we got. What the heck are you doing? Now, what did you put in your mouth? You missed! <laughs> oh my. God. Here at Dope or Note, guys, we believe we can find an absurdity in just about anything. Whatever that was. I don't, need, I don't need to find absurdity in what that was. <laughs> so be sure to grab a friend, grab your dog, or your grandma, whoever might be around you, and join us today as we check out 10 absurd road trip gadgets that shouldn't exist. We're gonna see if these products are gonna help make your road trip more convenient and more enjoyable. And if not, it's a no. But if they're dope, then they're gonna make it litty. But today, as we are reviewing these products, we are also playing Dope or Die. And so for those of you who are members of the Dope or Nope channel, and if you want to become a member, be sure to check out that join button down below. The members have selected a punishment. If you get the most nopes, then you have to do the punishment. So we really have to sell these products to each other. Yes. What's the punishment? What did the members pick for punishment? You have to eat a mouthful of sour candy. Andy. Okay, how extreme, Liz? We have toxic waste, we have she warheads. Sounds like my lunch. <laughs> Sounds like what we normally eat down here. So. <laughs> nice punishment. I like to lose now. Or maybe the members were just trying to like, you know, Help hook us up. Else. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Back and neck massager, shiatsu, massage chair, seat cushion with heat, kneading, rolling, vibrating for a full relaxation, massage on upper and lower back. That looks very nice. I actually really like that. This looks obscene. Might actually be a dope. Look at that, look at all the settings on this, brother. You can turn on shiatsu to certain levels. You got high shiatsu, low shiatsu. Is it battery operated? Or you like plug it into your, like your cigarette lighter? Oh, I don't have a cigarette lighter. I don't smoke, Michael. Wait, do I have a cigarette lighter in my car? Yes, between the front seats is a, yeah, it's in the middle console. I've never seen it. Cause you don't smoke. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's it. Add to cart. Over here, we got the goods. Ooh, looks nice. Oh yeah, you're right, I do. Here we go, check this out. Look at this though. That's hard, that's hard. Wow, dude, that's tight. I don't know. Oh, are you? did you turn it on? Yeah, I turned it on. Oh, hey. This is as low as my seat can go, and it's too high. Let me try on high shiatsu. Maybe that'll help. I mean, it's not uncomfortable. It feels good. It's actually massaging me quite well. Here's some high vibration. Oh! <laughs> That's not uh, what I expected. Where's it vibrating, <laughs> down on the butt? Yeah, I can add heat too, right there. That's pretty cool. Let's move on to upper back. Whoa. Is it really that high up? Yeah. All right, so you say, I, I think this is a dope. It's a dope. I don't even need to use it in a car. I could just put this in my seat at home. Oh my. Yeah, I think it's dope. Oh. You want this oh, one? Oh, Tanner. <laughs> you want this one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to test it. Wait, why do we get that 5.3 gallon? Yo. <laughs> like, who needs that much? <laughs> Yo, this one's about to be gallons. <laughs> You're a family man. You all going in the same one at the same time? <laughs> you go on top of someone else's? That's how porter potties work. Oh, I see. Never mind. Never mind. See? Okay. So I'm see? thinking. So I'm thinking of the toilet that we recently just bought Luna for the car. Yeah, where it just stores it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put that out there. I didn't. I'm okay with having diapers for a little bit longer. But hey, Amanda bought her a toilet for the car. So basically, what happens is if she needs to go to the bathroom, there's a little toilet, but it's just the top part. It's just like a little bucket, and then you have to like dump it out. Like what old people use. You have your daughter peeing in a bucket right now? She prefers it. She, she prefers it? Luna prefers it over in the diet. I mean, imagine, what do you want to do? Sit in your own feces or go in a toilet? Are you asking me which one I've done more often? <laughs> Did it sound like I was? Or which one I like? <laughs> I plead the fifth, all right, guys? Well, let's get a wide shot of that hole and then a little bit closer. Yeah. <laughs> so is there like a flushing mechanism that like helps send it down? Flush tank. Yep. Yep. Add to cart. So it's full of water. It's full of water. Oh my goodness. It's full of water for flushing. Look at this puppy. This is a puppy, I'll tell you that right now. So how do you, oh, is this the flush right here? That's courteous, you can also lift. What, why? So you don't splash. You know men. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you meant like sitting down. I was like, well, what kind of no. damage are you doing, brother? <laughs> I lost, <laughs> no, I lost faith in humanity when guys miss the toilet because that's like the easiest part of my day. Yeah, that's like your first win. They're like getting it on the window. And you're like, how? They have much more difficult lives than you do. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I did not hear, watch this. No, it's gonna squirt you. What yeah. color is it? 
Why Someone it, used it! Why is it orange? Is it recycling water that's it's been, been used? used? It comes with sanitary cubes. Oh. It looks like blood. I'm, I'm worried about getting hit with water right now. No, oh, it's leaking! Stop, you're just filling, you're gonna overflow <gasps> the toilet. <laughs> It just peed. Did oh, you see that? What is that? And why is there toilet paper in it? It sounds like bad bowel movements. <gasps> oh, no. I'm traumatized. What? Did I'm gonna I have to go to what? therapy for this. Dude, little poof flex came out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, where are we going? Get some food or something? It's like 10 days into this road trip. Tanner has been eating burgers the entire time, nonstop. I talked about last night. I'm worried that he's just going to implode in my nice car. Let's just flip a Yui and just like dump yeah. him right here, dude. Yeah. Just kick him out. Hasn't been that just, bad, just, guys. Just I mean, just just give him the toilet. Give him the toilet yeah, so he doesn't make a mess on the side of the road. Here, man, don't take it. Don't, yeah. You're serious? Yeah. All right, whatever. Find your way back home, bro. Peace out. Three days later. You got a flush on the right side. It's been three days. You've been sitting there for three days, man? Dude, yeah, I found the flush. Here, I'll show you guys. Don't look no. inside. No, I don't want to look. Don't show no. Okay, see you later. Oh, oh he spilled it everywhere. Dude. Yeah, it's gonna be a nope. <laughs> it's just simply a nope, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Before we get into this next product, we have something that you guys have been waiting for. It is the Like to Buy. A Like to Buy is a product that is like ridiculously expensive, has something crazy that we have to do that's like embarrassing or something, Crazy. or just requires a lot of work. And before we do any of this stuff, we wanna see if you guys wanna see it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to ask you guys for a certain amount of likes. If you wanna see it, smash that button and then we will proceed. The product we are looking at today is Fine Time Novelty Refillable Butane Cigarette Cigar Lighter Watch. Pretty much a watch that is actually also a lighter. And the video that this is gonna be kind of going towards in the video that we'll be making is a video entirely filled with products that have hidden features. And if you guys wanna see us trick each other or find these hidden features, make sure you guys smash out like button. How many times? Sorry, I had a brain <laughs> laugh. Smash that like button. Like <laughs> we want 100,000 likes to make sure you guys wanna see it. So smash that like button and make sure you guys comment. Butane. <laughs> butane? He said butane. <laughs> like, like it's Wu Tang. <laughs> oopsie poopsie. Um, in reference to our last product where Liz made an oopsie poopsie. On <laughs> to the next product. T View. T twelve two zero. TN Sun Visor. Michael. What? <laughs> You're making me confused. <laughs> Sun Visor monitor, and then it says my name at the end because it knows it's my product. It's the same color as you. <laughs> hey, it's not white. Beige. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much what this is, is it's a monitor inside of your guys' sun visors that would drop down in your guys' car so you can be watching TV while you're hopefully not driving and while you're hopefully in the passenger seat. This is unreal, bro. Like, That's pretty here, cool. Is this real? Whoa, there's Ooh. so many. And an ab workout. Oh, it's an app. Someone's literally, their, their seat is like going boom. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did you see this ad workout? It's called crunches. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add this puppy to cart and then we're gonna see if uh, we can use it while we're driving. You know what I'm saying? This is shocking me that it actually exists. Yeah, this is a real product. People think this is a good idea. How is this not banned? Oh my gosh. This just comes in pieces like that? This is real. Is there instructions with how you power it? The instructions say to hook it up to the car. These only work with an existing DVD player in a car. What? And um, we plugged it into a car battery. They literally just won't turn on. It wouldn't turn on at all. They came as a dud. I mean, these look like they belong to like a car from the 90s. You know what I mean? That has like an existing DVD input in the car. Who's ever had that? I used to. A DVD player in the car. We used to have a yeah, yeah, rich boy. In this suburban, like in like your suburban. Dang, Or like dude. the excursion. It was an excursion I had one. That's yeah, right. We have one in ours. All right, so these ones, as Liz stated, do not work. But the Doper Nope team has set up another TV device that could be put into a car. So so let's go check it out. Apex Legends? Bro, it's game time. Dude, Dude what? what? <laughs> Only we had connection. I would soft serve some kids up right now. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually working. I would play Apex right now, but I don't want to toss kids around in public, so. <laughs> so here's the thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this car out for a test drive. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously this isn't the actual product, but this is what the actual product would do. Should be doing, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, this is what, I mean, it's like a little TV on your sun visor. Sun visor. It's very tempting to use this like that. If it was kind of like this without all these cables, kind of like if the other one worked perfectly and you're driving, maybe just to have up like just a TV show or something. Not when you're driving. <laughs> like the passenger you can't even shirt. Do this. Obviously not this one because it hangs down too low. But like imagine if it was like just a normal one and you're kind of just driving straight and then you just peek up every couple 
second. Yeah, that's how you die. Yeah, that's 100%. Literally but literally a it's recipe tempting. for death. Look, he's playing. Yeah, I can play. No, but see, here. Hey, let me drive with my knees. I'm driving right now. Somebody put uh, moving stuff in the background. People said moving, multitasking. I can't even speak while doing this. People said multitasking. It's impossible. He was trying to say multitasking. It's impossible. It's impossible, dude. I'm going to say that's a nope. It's no just way. a dope. You know what I'm saying? This is just exactly what, all I've ever wanted in a car. We got Aqua Bell's Minis Travel Weights. Will you fill those with sand? Oh, you fill them with water. Aqua. <laughs> yeah, it's for underwater working out. It's an Aqua Bell. Oh, will you fill that with sand? <laughs> Can you imagine though? Why couldn't you just take your regular weights? Why couldn't you just pick up your kid? Just like hold them. Trust me, they like it. That's how you get a dad bod. You just pick up your kid enough, it's just like, all right. <laughs> no, I, you get a dad bod from not picking up your kid enough. <laughs> how much space are you really gonna save when being on the road compared to just taking so, your own dumbbells? Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Thing, adjustable up to eight pounds each. Is that really like enough to give you a workout? Eight pounds? Can be, it depends on the workout you do. True. Maybe just these. That's not safe. <laughs> In that form? <laughs> In this I, I, can't can't go, go, I can't go back. <laughs> Yeah, I think the whole point of this being portable is the fact that you can obviously take them with you without water in them, fill them up with water. What's the use case for these? Uh, pitch, traveling? Pitch, no, shh. This oh, sorry. This product. Traveling, man. Yeah, sorry, there is no use case. You're traveling, you have to pack light, but you came across a stream, you want to get that a yoga stream? in. A stream? You want to get that yoga in, you want to get that meditation, you want to get that pre-pump before you get going to hype. Pre-pump? <laughs> and then when you're done, you can just put it back into the universe, the water, and then pull them back up and put it back in your backpack. Out of court! What? Is that full, Liz? Are they filled? Full of ice? <laughs> Foles, we could get them. Wait, why? Wait, what? Because we only had a sink and a hose, and they have really small holes. Yeah, yeah, wait. That's, thank you, Liz. How are you going to fill these up? <laughs> you, you, you really think you're going to fill these up with a stream? Hold on. Let's, before we just, you Smells know, like say a it's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Smell that. Smells dude. like eighth grade, right? <laughs> Flashback to sixth grade, dude. <laughs> Imagine you just fill it up with air. You're like, I don't get these. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't, why don't we see, in a road trip style, how well this actually works for you, right. okay? I'm okay, put it to the wrong. test. Prove I'm gonna, me. I'm gonna prove you guys wrong. She loves me. We're actually using this? Me. She loves me. Just do that one. <laughs> she doesn't want me. You're like the uncalled dude at Venice Beach. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, how's it going, Callie? Uh, I got a couple. Uh, hey, bro, you live? Join. Oh, oh, nice. The yeah. fact I can catch it <laughs> says a lot about me. <laughs> yeah, dude, I got some fake tattoo stickers you can throw on if you want. We can what if someone tight. wants to throw yeah. them? You know what I mean? What if they're like, yo, you know what's up? Oh! <laughs> it lied. It said it was unpoppable. It pops. Hey, no, hey, 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 oh, hey. I just want to think about your weight. Chill, chill. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's not even real weight. <laughs> it's not even real. That's just water. That's not weight. Look at this thing. Looks like my heart. <laughs> Sad. Well, dang, that kind of just ruined my whole gimmick, so... You throw yours! Hey! hey! Dang. Dude, look at that. Those don't work. Those oh, are dumb. Uh, uh, that's a nope. Please hold. I need to brush my teeth. I have a 25 count fresh tip toothbrush. <laughs> What? Is that how you imagine this guy talks? Yes, they call me Professor Adams. I teach the uh, Scientology of... <laughs> Scientology? <laughs> well, what does that look like? Yeah. <laughs> In case you wonder what we're talking about, we're talking about fresh tips. Uh, peppermint, this is a... Uh... <laughs> This hey, is not fresh tip for me. This is what all the boys' bands in the 90s used to use uh, <laughs> to dye their hair. Just, just 60 seconds, you get fresh breath and whiter teeth while on the go. Yeah, it's called brushing your teeth. You get fresh breath and fresh tips. Ooh, why does it look like you're cleaning your toilet like with this? Plunge. Yeah, like a toilet scrubber. <laughs> Imagine all the people brushing their teeth. I don't understand what's different about this than normal toothbrushes. You don't need water, you just use your saliva and brush your teeth. Oh, so you just don't need water. That's what makes it on the go. I'm I was gonna say sure, normal yeah. toothbrushes are pretty portable. I'm gonna be honest with you. Add a cart! Ah! Comes in a pack of 80. Oh, those are tiny. Those are a lot tinier than I thought. Oh, these are some wee labs. This will be a... Oh. So you can see if they actually work. Works for me. I used to have like one of these a day at school. Mm. My mom only bought these like very seldomly. And when she did, they were gone in a day. What are you doing? What are both of you doing? Hey, Rain Man, just review the product. <laughs> 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 that was the best response I was not expecting. <laughs> All right, this could be useful. I got some fruit roll up in my teeth. I got some gunk in my junk, that's for sure. What's this little thing for? Oh, this is toothpaste? How do you use that? Oh, uh, do you like bite it? I don't know how the toothpaste part works. <laughs> I think you might have to bite it. <laughs> you didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> this is my Tyson. I don't know how to do the toothpaste <laughs> part works. Oh, the noise. Can I eat this? It's toothpaste, I mean. <laughs> You can't eat toothpaste. <laughs> I just don't like the fact that it looks like a toilet cleaner. It gets in the good spots and it feels comfy. I'm gonna say it's a nope. I wasn't gonna make it. No way, these look like dum-dums. I love them. That's a dope. I'll say it's a dope. Yeah, it's a dope, you dope. <laughs>
<laughs> Before we get into the next product, thank you for watching Charles Mayweather. We appreciate you so much for being a member. And if you guys want to shout out just like our homie Charles, <laughs> make sure you guys hit that join button down below. Check out all the different tiers and see what suits you guys the best. Personally, I'm a tier three kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are too, go ahead and check it out. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely not a tier member. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was. All right, we got a Reliance Flow Pro Portable Shower. That's right, a little shower that you can take on the go. Does it heat? Yeah, that little red nozzle right there, you push it down, starts to heat it up. And then you do the not know right that. Here, you no, that's it. a six foot kink. <laughs> that's a six, <laughs> six foot kink. kink. Uh, you got continuous spray with trigger action. Shower head features a six foot kink. <laughs> Resistant hose, uh, equipped with a pressure release valve. Uh, right there, holds up eight liters of water, which you can heat. It does a six sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, I got it, ready? You're traveling, you're on your road trip, you're going to Arizona, it's summer, it's 100 degrees. Maybe what not 100, happened? but it's 98, it's bacon. And oh. then you get into Arizona, which you still have to pass through, and now it's 115. The car is cooking, so you pull over, and it's so hot outside that this heats up the water, so it's useful. <laughs> You get a warm shower. That's where he was going with this? Yep. If it's like 115 degrees outside, I don't want a warm shower. I want a cold shower, genius. <laughs> but then that's where, you know, you're, it's like hot, and then you this drive never through been the to next Vegas. <laughs> it's only 33 bucks, so this might this might be worth it. This might be worth investment. Let's add a cart. I'm going to pump it as Thank much you. as I can to, to see. I, so too. I don't know where to find them. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you know, you know how it feels, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, pump guy. it as much as we can to see how much pressure we can build up. Try a little pump I think it. you're good. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci Wow, that is a lot what? of water pressure, bro. That's lame. It's freezing. It's <laughs> no way, Michael. <laughs> Wait, that's all the water pressure? Are you, you have, to have a friend pump it for Wait, you? Wait, hold up, hold up. Wait, what is it? Oh, that's all the pressure. You just need to pump it for longer. Yeah, hold on. This is kind of dope. It's a little bit of labor, but like. Now do it. That's that's as much as it can do. That's like my one at home, to be honest. <laughs> my shower pressure is terrible. Dude? Yeah, it's so bad. I mean, it will get the job done. Maybe dishes. Maybe washing your car. Yeah, yeah. kind of dope. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Michael. Okay. Nope. Kind of stupid. It doesn't heat it, but like you can do that yourself. Bing, bing. New size CS the snug travel pillow. Two L-shaped fiber-filled head supports. Bag eye mask. Eye mask. What? Does it's it come with an eye mask? Those are called eyelids. This I don't know. I mean, like how dumb it looks. But you're in your own car. It's not like you're using this on the airplane in public. I would like to use this on an airplane. But can't you just like bring your pillow from your room and just bring like, your like, pillow from your room? Yeah, yeah, but then you risk your friend stepping on it. And it doesn't work for two reasons. You ever put your pillow in the window slot with the seat? It just doesn't fit, you know? And no. the seatbelt? Oh, no, that's the, terrible. The pillow goes in between your face and the seatbelt. Yeah, what have you been doing on these? <laughs> I mean, it might do its job. Wait, this is meant to be for airplanes. It literally says Sky Siesta. Oh, what? Our heads strapped to yeah, the... <laughs> I don't know if this is appropriate for our channel. Just Look like at it holding her chair. <laughs> no, it's choking her out. I don't know. This sounds like a kidnapping. Imagine being a police officer <laughs> and you see that in the backseat. Just a girl with yeah. a blindfold and the neck choked out. You taking a nap or are you getting kidnapped? <laughs> nap or kidnapped? Kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, add the cart. Nice toss, Liz. Oh, there is an eye mask. So does that strangle you out or what? Try it on. No, no, try it on in front of your head really quick. What? Loser. Loser. <laughs> I thought he was going to turn it around so it just covered your face. <laughs> okay, Michael, your neck too thick? <gasps> oh no. my gosh, Michael, turn around as soon as you do this. <gasps> He's you an elephant. Like Dumbo. No, I don't No, want you got to show the people. <laughs> Name that elephant. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're really struggling. Got it. Got it. All right, can you sleep? I mean, you look like a square yeah. head, bro. What is uh, your opinion on this? I don't like it. It's I, honestly, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you too. It looks really hot. I wouldn't wear that. Even Michael says it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. and it doesn't work. But, Even the man who's but, it is. <laughs> got on. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> Trying to downplay right, your own product. Right. I also do not have a seat with me right now because this is supposed to strap onto the seat. What are you saying? What? No, it doesn't head. strap onto the seat. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It? No. No. Definitely doesn't. No. Oh, then I mean, I'll even give like, myself what, to a note. Like what? Prevent you from moving this. forward, bro? What have you got? A car accident. <laughs> you just said you're gonna give yourself a note? I mean, I give the product a note. I don't know if I'm as heartless to give you a note. <laughs> well, like myself as in like the product. Sorry, Michael, but you get a big note. You get a big note. <laughs> Yo, look at this, SUV tent add-on cabana black. So the idea of this is that you put this on the back of your car. Like a changing room. And then, yeah, and you're able to change. This woman should wear some sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. And Blinders some sunblock. Wow, why is this picture so sun small? Sun like, really? <laughs> look how small this sunblock. picture is. What are you guys <laughs> doing? You having your own side conversations? That's what hey! it's called, though. Hey! Sunblock. I'm trying to shoot it. a video here! So we! The disrespect. Yeah, okay, so look at as this. we were saying. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it go from this to that? So I believe the back of 
her car, it, probably like mine, where you can like open it and then it'll stay flat. Why do we need to put it on the back of a car? Why? why, why? <laughs> <laughs> Protection from the elements for hobbyists. Protection from the elements for those hobbyists. Hobbyists. those hobbyists can't dig the elements. We know it. <laughs> can we talk about how this thing is 90 bucks? That's expensive. Add to cart. Dude, we're gonna go out, we're gonna test this out in the real world and see how well we can change. Guys, it's up, it's ready. It's on Michael's car. Let's check it out. It looks like you just put a trash bag on it. <laughs> it's kind of dope inside. I'm gonna go to my humble abode. This is about it, guys. Oh, because this acts as the top. Yeah, so this helps push I it out. I see. There's no so structure. Like it's just yeah. like a little piece of fabric. You could just do this with any blanket, as long as it's big enough. But it's also rain resistant. If it rains, it's gonna slide right off of that tarp. Check this out. Wait for it. Don't don't peek. I'm changing. <laughs> I've changed. Just switch the jacket. Inside. It's too embarrassing to do this in public. Yeah, it's too way cool too. To do this outside. Though. No, I'm. I have a jacket on. But I mean, like, so what if like old. the weather conditions were much cooler? Then just don't change. Just keep the clothes on and add more. It's a dope or a nope. I just think it's a nope. <laughs> okay, how about this? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's just dumb, dude. New Wii Fi Detector, 802.11 T-shirt, black, black triple XL. XL. It's actually double XL, sorry. Original, Original LLL illuminating, illuminating thing. Thank you. That must have been hard to listen to everybody, I'm so sorry. So this, it's a shirt that detects Wi-Fi signal? <gasps> How come I have to have this? Oh, <laughs> Instead this of using is, your hotspot, that's get that cool. Wi-Fi. That's not how this works. It just detects if signal is around. You still have to connect to the dang Wi-Fi signal. Hey, hey, oh wait, this doesn't have a password? I couldn't use my phone for this? <laughs> <laughs> Locate battery pack and pocket near bottom of shirt. Slide open pack and insert. This thing's triple A batteries? Wait, Wow, what? I've never worn clothing that needed batteries, batteries before. Dude, most technology doesn't need batteries anymore. Like, like triple A, double A, they just have like <sighs> rechargeable batteries. What are you talking about? I put batteries in things all the time. I've literally haven't used triple A's or double A's in forever. Really? Yeah, flat out. I literally like two or three times a week I put batteries and stuff. What? That's so yeah. dumb. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to list. No, you're gonna break it. I'm sure it's not already broken. <laughs> Design illuminates to display nearby Wi-Fi. Yeah, so it's pretty much gonna... <laughs> This is so dumb. This is literally to show people how nerdy you hey, are. Hey, Tanner, bro. Tanner, this is your product. Sell it to me. Sell it. I'm so excited to see how this works. Whew. Right now, by the quality of your product. Wait, no, don't take that off. It's looking like a nope. It still doesn't even say what kind of Wi-Fi signal it receives. 802.11. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the use case, Tanner? The use case for this is your phone, dead. Well, why would you need, why would you need okay, this? Okay, start over. Nope, phone is dead and you're in the Sahara Desert. No, that's not gonna be. Phone's dead and you're in the middle of nowhere. You need to real. You need to think about, is it worth trying to charge your phone here? Or should you see if you're gonna get Wi-Fi signal that can allow you to do anything before even wasting your time? What? 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 <laughs> that's why I told you to start over. If your phone's dead, you don't have use for Wi-Fi. Yeah. That's my point. You just want to know if it's if it's worth <laughs> charging your phone in that place. This is, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I turn this puppy on, instantly creates What's listen to this noise. noise. Playing the song of my people. So it glows, <gasps> showing it's glowing. It's, it's got working. three bars right now. Four bars. Look, I'm gonna put on my Wi Fi signal right next to it, and we're gonna see if it increases it. Boom. Yeah. Five. Look at that. Personal hotspot is on. And now I'm gonna turn the personal hotspot off. Yeah, and there it's it going is. down. I mean, just. Not great. Come on. <laughs> no, this is great for testing Wi Fi. I think this is a dope for this reason. You're wearing this. Is there life where I am? You're oh, done. You're done. You're done. Oh, my God. I think you're done. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nope. So we either all win or we all lose, and we know you guys don't want to see us all win, so we all lost, and we're gonna all go crazy. Okay, so what is this? This is toxic waste, Liz? Yes. I say we do two each. Is the toxic waste stronger than the warhead? It's just warheads are bigger. My Three. mouth is quickly like salivating all of a sudden. Three, two, one, go. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Dope up today. We hope you had <laughs> holy crap. I was going all over your knee. <laughs> we hope you had fun watching and enjoyed some laughs. <laughs> Be sure to check out that video right there. It's 10 extravagant glamming products. It's the original wow video that this idea came from. And check out that video right there. It's a video that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. It's gonna recommend it just for you. Tastes like Play-Doh. Oh, we're good now. We we're good. Woo! We'll see you next time and thanks for the punishment. Peace. I prefer the toxic waste. <laughs> <laughs>